Reserve Bank of India directed all lenders to review their practices that have to do with dispersal of loans and charging of interests. And uh, this according to a circular that was uh, issued yesterday and uh, the RBI says such non-standard practices of charging interests are not in consonance with the spirit of fairness and transparency while dealing with customers and these are matters of serious concern to the central bank. So what are these practices that central bank is uh, speaking about? Well, charging of interest from the date of sanction of loan agreement and not from the date of actual disbursement of funds. Also charging of interest from the date of the check, but the actual customer only getting the check several days later. And in, in some cases, in case of dispersal or repayment of loans, some lenders charge interest for the entire month instead of for the period where the loan was outstanding. So all uh, these sort of issues were looked at. Well, joining us to talk more about this, Ashwani Rana, founder, voice of banking and banking expert, and also Nilesh Tribhuvan, consumer rights lawyer. Thank you so much both for joining us. And uh, uh, first to you, Ashwani Rana, if you can, you know, uh, so basically banks following dodgy practices now caught out by the RBI, what does this now mean for borrowers and especially existing borrowers? Actually, this is happening by the private finance companies or private banks. They are having so many hidden charges. They are not telling to the borrower that whatever charges we are going to take. And they are charging the rate of interest from the just date of the sanction itself. This time, you can apply for any loan on an online basis. So online, they uh, sanction and they start charging rate of interest uh, from the date of the sanctioning, which is against the uh, this system of the uh, banks. Bank have to the charge rate of interest when this uh, amount has been disbursed. Means if the borrower has got the money in his uh, loan account, so uh, these uh, some banks they are doing the mispractice and they are charging so many hidden charges but so many public sector banks they are uh, just following the rbi guidelines and they are not doing any miss uh, thieves, sir. but uh, i am really happy that rbi doing a good job nowadays that in the interest of the uh, customers they are every week or every month they are issuing some uh, circular or notification or instructions in the interest of the customer. Right, absolutely. And, you know, a good move by the RBI. Nilesh Tribhuvan, if, you know, if what's also clear from this, uh, what has happened and the RBI issuing this circular, is that customers also need to be very aware and read the fine print. As Ashwana Rana was saying, a lot of hidden costs there and also be aware about what this RBI circular too is and look out at, for these things. I slightly disagree with Mr. Rana. It's not only the private banking institutions who are doing so. There are certain government banks also who are doing it earlier. So the RBI has not only, you know, uh, find them in the past. So the bigger name would be the Bank of India, the SBI were also fined by the RBI in the past. In the private lending, uh, sorry, in the, in the private banks, you you have Electi Finance, Kotak, uh, you have uh, Canada Banks. All those banks were also fined by the RBI for the similar issues earlier. Uh, we are very glad that the RBI has finally uh, realized that the such kind of a circular is necessary. And uh, we really welcome uh, such kind of a move by the RBI. I believe the RBI has become very active nowadays, uh, considering the Paytm issue. And then they, they have asked uh, Kotak Mahindra Bank also not to involve the new uh, consumers. So RBI is actually thinking for the consumer point of view, uh, which I believe. And we must congratulate uh, RBI. And what prompted this sake. move? Uh, you know, many, many complaints received by the RBI over this? There were a lot of complaints. It is not something that which is new and which is happening from today, or which is happening from in you know, a couple of years itself. Uh, if you if you if you see the history, so there are almost uh, since last five years. If you just pick up the data of the five years, more than forty nine crore rupees has been received by the RBI by way of a fine, which was imposed only for this particular issue. So it is not something new, but uh, I'm, I'm very happy that uh, now the people would also come to know about such kind of a provision does exist. Such kind of a notification is there. Uh, be, being a lawyer, probably I was aware about it earlier, uh, but most of the common consumers uh, may not uh, 
you know no such kind of a provisions does exist uh, we uh, we are very happy uh, now because of this circular even if somebody can search it on the internet probably they'll easily uh, find it and easy to understand so right, going uh, forward no yeah. definitely yeah, and that's sorry. why you know you want to create more awareness about this ashwini uh, rana uh, uh, you know what is your advice to people who may be looking uh, for loans and uh, those who have current loans taking place and also uh, now with the rbi being so uh, you know aware and so uh, watching all this very closely hopefully banks too will stop what uh, you know these dodgy practices really uh, first of all i will uh, agree with mr nilesh that that some public sector banks also were doing this but they were not doing be- because of the uh, actually the system whatever system is working in the bank uh, that calculate the interest and other things uh, that is provided by the outside vendor and they don't know the banking actually banks tell them that we need this type of software and system and if there is was a some system problem and they have rectified now it is good that rbi is instructed for customers awareness it is to be seen that whatever they are signing the paper at the time of the sanction what is uh, bank or financial companies they are sanctioning the loan terms and condition they should read carefully uh, because in whenever they are in need they are just going and just signing on the blank paper and uh, when they are going for a, 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 this uh, loan repayment uh, they are having so many problems so every terms and condition they should uh, carefully read and then uh, sign the document that is required at the time of the sanctioning otherwise and they should not uh, uh, apply any online loans which is not a financial company or a registered company or a uh, license issued by Uh, RBI because they are doing the mischiefs. So many frauds are happening, and they are applying. And later on, they are charging sure. so many interest and all this stuff. All right. Well, RBI is uh, you know uh, issuing this circular about unfair practices of of how you know uh, interest rates are being charged by banks on loans. Thank you so much both for joining us on the program and a vigilant RBI on these practices and also clearly a need for consumers and customers also to be more vigilant. Uh, with that, we'll slip into a short break. More news coming up on the other side. Stay with us.